Welcome back. And I'm back with Congressman John Radcliffe, member of the Intel and Judiciary Committees and former federal prosecutor. And Congressman, you were making a point about Jim Comey. He wrote this op-ed over the weekend, and then he comes out with this tweet of him in the woods looking up and saying, so many questions. Uh, it, it's bizarre. Uh, there are so many questions, and I hope that Jim Comey has to answer all of them. Uh, Jim Comey said that he made the decision not to charge Hillary Clinton with mishandling classified information based on a review of the facts and evidence. Lisa Page testified that she wasn't charged because the Department of Justice said they could not consider gross negligence. We have a document that backs up Lisa Page's uh, Te sworn testimony that that is in fact true. So those are the types of questions that Jim Comey's going to have to come back and answer under oath. It's those types of things that have really, Maria, uh, shaken people's faith and trust in our FBI and in the Department of Justice. And I think Bill Barr's on a path to restore people's confidence in that uh, by bringing accountability. And uh, for the sake of the American people, I uh, hope he, that he continues in that regard, and I expect that he will. Well, it's just extraordinary the way that Obama's agencies completely were politicized. You have John Brennan, who was the head of the CIA, going all over television saying that the president uh, was treasonous. Meanwhile, we know the facts where it was actually Hillary Clinton who paid for the dossier, who worked with Russians to come up with dirt on Donald Trump, and Hillary Clinton, who got 148 million million dollars into her foundation, her husband a half a million dollars, working with the Russians. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, uh, right after the election, Donald Trump very graciously said, let's move on from Hillary, let's turn the page. Unfortunately, uh, Hillary and the Democrats were not nearly so gracious. Uh, they had already begun to undermine uh, President Trump, and that continued again through the Obama administration officials that uh, Brendan Clapper, Comey, Lynch, and uh, fortunately for the American people, the will of the American people stands. Donald Trump um, has been vindicated uh, by the Mueller uh, findings that we've seen, right. and uh, and we should all be happy about that. Yeah, Congressman, real quick, you're a, a former federal prosecutor and and a member of judiciary. Am I exaggerating when I say this is the biggest scandal of our time? I mean, it's extraordinary to me. Well, I can only talk about my time. It, it's certainly um, it, it is the biggest scandal uh, that I have had a front row seat to. I hope to never see anything like it again. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Congressman, thanks for your fantastic work. Thanks for joining me this morning. You bet. Thanks, Congressman Marianne. John Ratcliffe.